Hello air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here with me. Today we're going to be looking at what's going on with your current situation here. So anything that you're sort of facing right now, air signs, we'll have a look and see what's coming up um, and what the cards can tell us about your current situation. Um, and potentially, this is obviously a love reading, so it's going to see what's keeping you and your person apart um, or why there's potentially some faction or some differences going on between you and your special person. So um, if you do enjoy this reading, please feel free to leave a like um, and also to subscribe to the channel to join my growing YouTube fam. That would be very much appreciated. Um, if you'd like access to extended readings, uh, you will have to join the channel. So if you want membership with the channel, um, all you have to do is click the join button on the homepage and go from there. Um, otherwise, let's jump into this reading. So I have laid out a few cards. Um, essentially, the underlying or the, the overall energy um, will be the four right awake cards the advice for you in the middle um, and then what's keeping you apart potentially here as well uh, in terms um, of your differences here so um, air signs you have come up as the queen of swords um, so you're in an energy right now where you sort of want to talk about things you want to reach out you want to sort of come upon an agreement of some kind um, I feel like I want to split it um, sort of so I've split it from one side to another so actually your side air signs um, king of pentacles queen of swords and the ten of cups so um, I feel like what's going on your side is that you are open and you're ready you're sort of you've sort of reached a certain stage in your love life where you're wanting more um, and it happens you know it can surprise us even at times when we're like okay well we want more or I want this next step or um, I want to be in this position or, you know, we look upon, you know, when we're single, we see all these happy couples. And then when we're in the happy relationship, we see all these happy singles. Isn't that always the way? Um, anyway, so I see you right now. You've got that Taurian energy. So you've got the King of Pentacles. Um, to see that Taurian, Taurian energy, you want stability. So you've got stability, that, that want for stability, that yearning for stability is coming up for you now more than ever. Now, it's obviously going to mean different things to different people. Uh, for some of you, it's having the house, the white picket fence, settling down, having kids. For others, it's just like having someone to be there, have fun with, you know, connect with, go on date nights with, travel with. Um, you know, there, there is that want for more love in whichever way you want it. So there, there is the need for something more, a little bit more than what you currently have. Um, and I feel like with the Queen of Swords, you want to talk to your person about it. You want to tell them about it. Um, the Ten of Cups is that you are starting to feel like you could genuinely see yourself settling down with this person. Now, the Ten of Cups is that happily ever after card. Um, so you're starting to feel like you either want someone that is in your forever, uh, or you're starting to realize the person that you're connecting to more and more as the days, the weeks, the months go by, the more you're starting to realize okay, this is seriously someone I could settle down with. Um, and you want to talk about it. You want to shout it from the rooftops. You want to tell everyone about it. But for some reason, you're not getting that same connection from your person because your person is coming up as the hangman, uh, the hangman, the wheel of fortune and the five of cups. So your person is potentially thinking about things, not in a maybe the healthiest of way. Five of cups, this, side, this person is either like not over an ex um, or they're still dealing with some sort of loss in their life and that's preventing them from moving forward with you. It's almost like you've met them or you're connecting with them at a very special time in their life where they may not necessarily be ready because on their end of things, they're coming up as the hangman. So for them, it's a bit like doom and gloom. I don't know if they feel suffocated. Um, the thought of like settling down or being in a monogamous relationship, you know, maybe they haven't been in a relationship for so long and they're scared. They're fearful of these things because they don't know if that's something that they want. And I feel like that's why they're coming up with the hangman because they don't have their cards in order. You know, it's like they'll stall. They're stalling like, oh, I haven't done this in my career. Or I haven't traveled enough yet. They'll find these excuses. But the underlying issue here on their end um, is that they may not necessarily be ready. Uh, and I feel like they may still be dealing with a loss. If it's not that not being ready part, the Five of Cups tells me they've lost something um, or they're still mourning a previous connection. Now... This is more for those people that are connecting with someone who has recently ended something. 
and obviously they're still reminiscing about that person, they're still thinking about them, they're not in the right mind space. They might not be as emotionally available as you want them to be. With time though, and time does wondrous things, with time with that Wheel of Fortune, they'll start to go through those stages of grief and start to um, become more accepting of what they've lost, like a previous relationship, for example. Um, and they'll start to become more accepting of that. If you're willing to wait and be patient for this person, you will start to see those stages of grief change within them. And you'll start noticing an emotional availability that you may, maybe didn't see before. Whether you want to wait, that's the question. You know, yes, sometimes certain people are worth waiting for. And if you truly believe this person is worth the wait and worth being patient for, then obviously you'll be rewarded with that. But for some of you, this is maybe a cycle. Uh, you've maybe seen this person go through it before. <clears throat> but I feel like what's coming up on their side is like time, right? That's what's governing their thoughts. So what's keeping you apart, I feel, for their side is loss. And for your side, it's wanting that happily ever after. So you're in two very different stages at the moment. Now, that's not to say it can't change. All right, let's have a positive spin on this. Let's be positive. Um, it's not to say it can't change because it can. Okay, people's emotions change, their wants, their needs change all the time. Okay, we're human. It's, it's only in our nature to be this way. But I feel with that Wheel of Fortune, they keep thinking about time. So they, I don't know if there's a pressure for time or if they feel like time isn't on their side or they don't have enough time. It may be that they're feeling they need more time, they need more space to do other things in their life. Uh, and that's what's sort of coming up for them. It's something about that time, that time um, thing. The advice in the middle, it is the inner bond that draws one person to another, not words. So you really need to pay attention to the action that they're taking because they can be saying anything like, yes, I want X, Y, and Z, but their actions not necessarily aligning with what they're saying. And words are very nice to hear and they're very pleasing, aren't they? But it's more you have to watch this person's behavior. And I feel like if this bond is strong enough, you will actively see them do that hard work to come around and to sort of meet you halfway at least or compromise or try to get over that person or try to eliminate. Like if they're still talking to their ex every night, obviously that's a red flag. Um, if they're saying no to them, if they're not answering their calls or they're blocking or, you know, um, they're trying to be more open with what you want, that's a different story. That's when you're going to see that that bond, that there's nothing like them showing you that bond um, that's going to say how strongly they truly feel of this connection. So it's not words. Um, we have to pay attention to that bond and that inner connection. And if it's strong enough, you'll see it. If it's not, you might not see it right away. It might take a little bit more time, a little bit of a nudge, a little bit more patience and love. Um, but in time, I think you will see if the bond is there, you'll definitely see it air signs. So um, I'm going to leave your reading there. Thank you again, everyone, for watching. Uh, so that was for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't forget to drop a like, uh, hit the subscribe button, and also sign up for membership if you're wanting to join the channel. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll speak soon. So much love and bye for now.